All right, welcome back. We've got Carter Ha back on the show. Now, he is the executive chef and manager for Holland Hill. I mean, the place is absolutely gorgeous. A great spot for a little getaway or your next event. Look, Look at, at that. that. Yes, I'm into it. Listen, he's busy working away because that's all he does. Work, 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 work. We couldn't <laughs> be happier. You've got amazing scones. Tell us. So these are white mango, turmeric, and sweet potato scones. A little taste of Thanksgiving. Wow. And as all you rolled up. may recall from last time, I lo love to do a lot of farm to table and special herbs. So yeah. all the ingredients were sourced from local farms here in Nashville. That's beautiful. Okay. And how did you top this? You used to melted butter? We actually just brushed them with a little heavy cream oh, and sprinkled them with sugar. And so they get that same cream sugar before baking, 15 minutes they're out, then brushed and sprinkled again. Now, Carter, wow. this is your recipe. This isn't Grandma's recipe. That's correct. She <laughs> did a lot of baking, but I think she was more biscuits than scones. Well, and we just have the best pictures. Your grandmother used to do a cooking show right here at our station on Knob Hill. We found these pictures. I, I'm just in awe. Look at this. This is so neat. And you were sharing a story earlier. You said you called her Fifi. I did. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we, um, so she had told me, and people know this story, but back when she had had the show from yeah. 50 to 56, she had never heard an, an electric mixer. And so she recalls coming on, and luckily we have a lid, but she <laughs> sent eggs over everything. Just hit the blender and didn't That's realize right. you had to have the lid on it. That's great. That's, that's good TV right there. That's amazing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, there she is. And there she is. That, what a beautiful she was doing photo. Thanksgiving. She was. Cooking Still right cooking there. away. And oh. definitely you've got, you mentioned when you were on before, what an inspiration she's been to your life. Absolutely. I grew up cooking with her before I could even spell the word recipe, I think. Aww. And what this cranberry relish we have, it actually is one of her recipes. Okay. Oh, good. And I wanted to share it because it is delicious, not too sweet, not too sour, and something that everyone can do at home. Totally easy. All it is is three apples, okay. three oranges, a pound of cranberries, and a cup of sugar. That's wow. it? That, do you, that's do, you, it. do you take the skin off the oranges? Um, you No, you leave skin, everything on. All you want to do is make sure you don't have the seeds. Okay, oh, really? So get the leave seeds it? out. Oh, wow, that's You put the apples nice. in there. Now, are you cooking the cranberries or just leaving them? You can, but this is um, how I like to do it, is just roll. Okay. Raw relish. This is really? great. Wow, so okay. Give it one more little pull. I love it. Oh, this is a great blender, by the way. <laughs> well, that was it's the shortest historic. little pull. Yeah. I mean, you were joking. I got it good. All right, you got to turn the blender around. Take everybody back in time. I mean, do you My guys mom all had remember this, blender. this? My mom had this blender, but I think it was in green. Do you remember? Yes. The avocado green. I, I'm almost positive mm -hmm. it was avocado green. Yep. I think we had this color. I Did think you? that was a color. Our refrigerator we weirdly had that refrigerator? Yes. weirdly matched this tone. Yes, all of it. <laughs> Ugh, back in the day. Okay, sorry. Enough about our, our memory childhood. Lane. Let's now what is this that you're are you putting so a little another special herb, on the it's end? lemon thyme. Um, oh, that's so, nice. I think it's great. It's great for really anything Thanksgiving. Right. You can put it with the turkey or whatever. But what I want to do is, and I just chopped up just a little bit here okay. earlier. I just want to sprinkle for tiny some of that time. Yeah, on the scones, and then the last little bit on the relish. Okay, so how do you eat it? Uh, take a scoop, and put a little. You do, yeah. So you can combine the two, of course, with the scone and the mm -hmm. relish together. Anytime well, I have a big yeah. old knife, you know I'm <laughs> I mean, come on, Carol. On head. <laughs> Boom. I love it. She Get scares me a little my bit when belly. she has cold. When she has a big knife like that, it's Here you go, Cal, that okay. big piece for you. I will take it. And the relish oh, is good this way with so sweet nice pastries, so but then, you know, I'm not against people putting it on a turkey sandwich. Listen, this, is, way this is day after breakfast right here with these mm -hmm. scones. Carter, this is amazing. Wow. Thank you so much for coming this in. This is incredible relish. Really good. These scones are amazing. Mm. And it's best to, with the relish, you after you do the pulsing, you just let it chill until you serve it. Doesn't oh, it's have to be 24 yeah, hours. Yeah, I like I like the temperature. It's if you're so going great. to Thanksgiving somewhere, this is the perfect side right? to take. What yeah, a fun thing to take. Oh, okay, gosh. guys, this recipe on our website I'm going in <laughs> today <laughs> in Nashville.com. Learn more about really Holland good. Hill <laughs> at <laughs> hollandhill.com. So cool. Thank you so much for yeah, sharing. Thank you.